This is a question that is repeatedly asking in the Kerala University as well as in KTU question papers. We are all familiar with this circuit. This is a simple representation of a Western split circuit. It consists of 5 resistance amps along with a 4 volt voltage source connected across the terminals A and C. For simple representation, I have assigned names for the different nodes in this point in the circuit. And I am using uh, mesh analysis to solve this simple circuit. Here the question is to find the current through different branches of the circuit shown below. Here all resistors are different branches. Therefore, we have to determine the current through each resistor of the circuit shown below. Here we, are, here we have 6 resistors in total. That is 1 ohm, 4 ohm, 5 ohm, 2 ohm, 3 ohm and again 1 ohm. Therefore, we have to determine the current flowing through these different branches or these different resistors in the circuit shown below. I am going to solve this simple circuit by using mesh analysis or Kirchhoff's voltage law. I have assigned alphabets for the different nodes so, so that I can namely the mesh in the circuit. Here I have three closed circuits or meshes or loops. Uh, the first mesh is ABDA. A, B, D, A can be assigned as the first mesh. A, B, D, A. Second mesh I can assign as B, C, D, B. Second mesh can be assigned as B, C, D, B. This is the second mesh. And third mesh I can assign as A, D, C, E, F, A. That is A, D, C, E, F, A. This is a Three closed circuits I can see in this uh, circuit shown below. This is the first one, this is the second one and this is the third closed circuit. Next, I have to assign mesh currents to these three closed loops. Therefore, I am considering this as the first mesh and I am considering current I1 flow through this mesh, I1. And this is the second mesh and I am assuming current I2 flows through this mesh in clockwise direction. Again through this mesh I am assuming current I3 flows in clockwise direction. So my mesh currents are I1, I2 and I3. These are the three mesh currents. Therefore in order to determine the current through different branches of the circuits by using mesh analysis I have to determine firstly the values of I1, I2 and I3. And my next step is to write mesh equation corresponding to the three different meshes. So I am starting with the first mesh A, B, D, A and I am starting from the 1 ohm resistor and for writing the mesh equation 1 ohm resistor I can represent minus 1 into I1 then minus 5 into common branch therefore it is under the action of both I1 and I2 therefore the net current is minus 5 into I1 minus I2 and the next one 4 ohm it is also common between first mesh and the third mesh therefore the net current flowing through the 4 ohm is I1 and it is, oh, I3 is opposite to that therefore I can represent minus 4 into I1 minus I3 and there is no other voltage source in the mesh so I can close the Kirchhoff's voltage law equation as 0 that is minus 1 into I1 minus 5 into I1 minus I2 minus 4 into I1 minus I3 is equal to 0. All the voltage ropes are assigned negative sign as per the sign conversion. This is the first equation. This equation can be simplified as minus 10 I1 plus 5 I2 plus 4 I3 is equal to 0. Let it be equation number 1. Next, I am considering the second loop that is B, C, D, B, B, C, D, B. The current flowing through the closed loop is assigned as I2. I am starting from the 2 ohm resistor and I am representing the mesh equation as minus 2 I2. Only I2 is flowing through the 2 ohm resistor and next one is 3 ohm resistor that is 3 into the net current flowing through the 3 ohm resistor is I2 minus I3. I2 minus I3 and next one is the 5 ohm resistor and net current flowing through the 5 ohm resistor is I2 minus I1 that is equal to 0. This equation can be also be simplified as five I one minus ten I two plus three I three is equal to zero. This is a second equation. This is a second equation. Next, I have to consider the third loop. That is a 
larger loop in the circuit which consists of the 4 ohm resistor, 3 ohm resistor, 1 ohm resistor and 4 volt voltage source. I am starting from the 4 ohm resistor. I have to represent negative sign that is 4 into the net current flowing through the 4 ohm resistor is I3 minus I2 in the third mesh. I am taking I3 as a reference and I3 minus I1. I3 minus I1 is a net current flowing. And the next one is a 3 ohm that is minus 3 into I3 minus I2 is a net current flowing through 3 ohm resistor. Then I again came across and found the 1 ohm resistor. And there is only one current. I3 is flowing through 1 ohm resistor. So I can represent 1 into I3. And next is a voltage source. Next is a voltage source. And I am moving from the negative sign. When I am writing the my direction of action is clockwise direction. And after the 1 ohm resistor, I encountered firstly the negative side of the 4 volt source. And then the positive side. So I am moving from the negative side to positive side therefore there is a rise in potential and I have to assign a positive sign to the voltage source and four voltage source and I can move and come from start I reach the initial point therefore this completes the mesh equation for the third loop therefore these are three equation and the third equation can be simplified as 4i1 plus 3i2 minus 8i3 is equal to minus or this is a third equation and from first 2 and 3, the 3 equations consist of 3 unknowns, I1, I2, I3, I1, I2, I3, 0, 0, minus 4 is R. Therefore, I can represent the 3 equations in a matrix form as R into I is equal to V, that is R into I is equal to V, which is basically the Ohm's law, I can represent it as R into I is equal to V. And the matrix elements are first is R11 that is the first element of the first equation that is minus 10, second element 5, third element 4 and next one is 5, minus 10, 3, 4, 3, minus 8 into I1, I2, I3 is equal to 0, 0, minus 4. This is a system equation for corresponding to this electrical circuit R into I is equal to V. We can solve this matrix equation simply by using the Kramer's rule, the simplest step to determine the Kramer's rule. Therefore, initially in order to solve by Kramer's rule, we have to first determine the delta R that is a determinant that is equal to determinant of the total resistance matrix that is delta R. So, I am firstly determine the determinant of the delta R matrix. And by expanding along the first column and first row and by expanding along the first column or five first row, I will get delta R is equal to negative 230 minus 230. The R is equal to minus 230. And then according to Kramer's rule, I can determine I1, I2 and I3 simply by writing the equations. I1 is equal to 1 by delta R into replace the first column 1 by delta r into replace the first column that is 0 0 minus 4 into 5 minus 10 3 4 3 minus 8 this is equivalent to i1 and by solving this i will get i1 is equal to minus 220 divided by minus 230 and that is equal to 0 0.956 amperes these matrices can be simply solved by using the calculator 991ES and we need not to write the complete matrix expansion or the determination of the determinant. We can simply solve the equation by using calculator. Similarly, we can represent I2 is equal to 1 by delta R into 1 by delta R into replace the second column that is a minus 10, 5, 4 is the first column and the second column is 0, 0, minus 4 and 4, 3, minus 8. This is a second column that can be represented as minus 200 by minus 230 and that is equal to 0 0.869 amperes. And next is the third one, I3 is equal to 1 by delta R into minus 10, 5, 4, 5 minus 10, 3 and I have to replace the third column that is 0, 0, minus 4 and that is equal to minus 300 divided by minus 230 that is equal to 1.304 ampere. So, I have determined all the three mesh currents that is I1, I2 and I3. Then, according to the question, I have to 
according to the question i have to determine the current through different branches of the circuit so i have to determine the current through all the resistors in the circuit and i can simply represent it as current through different uh, resistors in the circuit the current through the 1 ohm resistor is given by current through the 1 ohm resistor is i1 alone that is equal to 0 0.956 ampere that is equivalent to current through the 1 ohm resistor also the current through 4 ohm resistor we can determine the current through 4 ohm resistor is the equivalent value that is i1 minus i3 or i3 minus i1 here i3 is a larger value therefore it is equivalent to i3 minus i1 i can simply represent the equation for all the currents that is the current through 1 ohm resistor is equal to i1 itself whereas current through that 4 ohm resistor current through the 4 ohm resistor here i3 is larger therefore i am representing i3 minus i1 Similarly, the current through 5 ohm resistor is equal to I2 minus I1 or I1 minus I2. Here, I2 is a, I1 is a large value. Therefore, I am representing it as I1 minus I2. Similarly, current through the 2 ohm resistor, nothing more than I2. It is equal to I2. Also, I am representing the current through the 3 ohm resistor. 3 ohm is under the action of both I2 and I3. Therefore, the larger value of I3. Therefore, I am representing I3 ohm is equal to I3 minus I2. And similarly, the current through the lower 1 ohm resistor. It is a 1 ohm resistor in the third loop that is only i3 these are the different branch currents i can determine the different branch currents by simply solving these three equations so this is a basic way to solve the simple circuit by using mesh analysis firstly we have to write the assume you have to assume the directions of current then we have to write the mesh equation and simply solve the mesh equations by using Kramer's rule we can determine the value of current through all the resistors in the circuit below this is the question which is repeatedly asking for Get your question papers. Thank you.